Hey there, this is Neelang Mehta. I am software engineer as well as instructor in the tutorial stream. Throughout this series, I am going to teach you how to use the ML.NET for machine learning solution. The first question arises that, what is machine learning and ML.NET? Machine learning is a learning from the experience and making the prediction based on its experience. In machine learning, we need to create a pipeline and pass the training data based on that machine will learn how to react on the data. ML.NET gives the ability to add the machine learning in the .NET applications. We are going to use the C sharp throughout this series, but F sharp is also supported by the ML.NET. ML.NET officially publicly announced in the April 2019. It's a free, open source, and cross platform. It's available for the both .NET Core as well as the .NET Framework. The course outline include introduction to the machine learning and understood how it's different from the deep learning and the artificial intelligence. Learn what is ML.NET and understood the structure of the SDK. Create the first model for regression and perform the prediction on it. Evaluate the model and cross-validate the data. Load the data from the various sources like text file, binary file, and database. Filter out the data from the data view. Export the created model and load the SEO model for further operation. Learn about the binary classification and use it for creating model with the different trainer. Perform the sentimental analysis on the text data to determine user's intention is a positive or negative. Use the multi-class classification for prediction. Use the TensorFlow model for the computer vision and determine which object is represented by the image. Then we will see the example of using the other trainers like the anomaly detection, ranking, forecasting, clustering, recommendation. Perform the transformation on the data related to the attacks, conversion, category, and time series. Then see how we can perform the auto ML using the model builder UI and CLI. Learn what is Onyx and how we can create and use the Onyx model. Then we will see how we can use the model for performing prediction in the ASP.NET Core. Prerequisite for this course is just basic knowledge of the SCSAP as well as machine having the Visual Studio. I am going to use the year 2019. If you have a basic knowledge of the machine learning, then it would be a great. However, it's not compulsory. In the end of course, you will be confidently able to create the ML.NET model using the code as well as the model builder for your application. It can include the various kind of data source, data preprocessing, transformation, trainer, and hyperparameter. Join me for this course. Thank you.